In this Olive video editing tutorial I will show you how to create horizontal split screen video clips. I've assumed you have a basic understanding of editing in Olive. A link to my beginners tutorial is included in the description below for those that don't. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. Okay, well I've brought a couple of clips into the projects folder here and all I'm going to do is just select one clip and drag it into the timeline. Make sure the clip's selected and also that you're in the effects folder. Now on a lot of video editors you can actually create um, well, well a lot of um, effects, um, certainly split screens by having a white background or a white mask and then multiplying. That option isn't in um, Olive at present or on this version. I suspect later versions will have it in here, the blend mode where it says normal but there isn't any options at present. So one way you can create a split screen is what I'm going to do is I'm going to just move this clip down. It won't be the final position, but just to give myself a guideline, because I want this to be 50% split. So you've got a couple of positions. The one on the right is left to right x-axis, and the one on the, the sorry, the one on the left of the x-axis, the one on the right is the up and down y-axis, and half of this would move the video up, double this will move it down 50% or you could if you want just create a clip like this. Bearing in mind that this at present is only just going to be a guide for uh, to start me off. You can also left click on the um, position and change it here. So I'm going to change this to 10 80 and I'm going to select OK and this has split the clip in half. I'll move this back up in a minute. Now I'm going to drag the next clip over the top and I'll just snap it up to match the length. Now next to opacity if you hold your left mouse button down over to 100 and just drag the opacity down so you can see the sort of middle and again using the positions you can adjust the position of your video the higher the video the further down it goes the lower the number the higher up it goes so I'm going to just take this up until it's kind of in the middle of this point here now as I said, in future versions it might be that you can have a white mask and literally multiply it and it won't mean you've got to crop the bottom but at present the only option you've got is to come over next to video effects there's a little button that says add video effect left click on this and then next to distort left click on crop and you can crop left top right bottom and you can also feather the edge so all I'm going to do is drag the bottom up until it meets it lines up with the middle and that is basically all I'm going to do oh take the opac opacity up to a hundred as well you may have to play with this you might even have to left click and put in points at the end it's not that accurate doing it this way so that's fine I'm going to go back to the first clip if you're not sure just look at the number up here and I'm just going to reposition it by reducing this number so that the clip comes up to something sensible and that's basically it. If you want to put another clip over the top, all you do is just bring another clip into the timeline. 
I'll just snap this up. I'm not going to be too fussy with this second, uh, third clip. And I wouldn't bother using the opacity this time. All I'll do is just left click on the um, video effect, distort and crop. And again, I'll reduce the size on the top and bottom. So let's say 32 on the top and 32 on the bottom and that looks about good to go again you could if you wanted to select either one of the tracks and reposition it and that's basically all there is to it I'm not going to go into rendering like I said um, at the beginning I've assumed you you have at least a basic knowledge of working in Olive so hopefully this helps somebody thank you for watching cheers